Elizabeth just sent in this picture. It might be the strangest yet. But is it even real? This is the 50 Strangest Animal Series, picked by you guys. Hey Adam, this is Elizabeth from California. I'm not a gang. I found this picture of this troglodyte looking animal and I just... I just had to share it with everyone. This is a tough one because it doesn't look like anything I've seen before. My intuition though tells me that it's photoshopped. But there's so many unknown fish and species in the ocean. So I spent hours looking for references to this picture with no real luck. There is one fish, however, that continues to make headlines as being a mysterious unidentified creature. So here are the facts and then stay tuned at the end for a full analysis. Now, if someone were to ask you what is the longest bony fish alive, could you guess it without going to Google? I couldn't, but what I found, measuring up to 56 feet in length, it was the oarfish, or the king of the herrings. Some people believe it gets its name oarfish because of its highly compressed and elongated body, or because of the belief that they row themselves through water using their pelvic fins. They are rarely caught alive and are probably the cause of sea serpent sightings because they tend to linger at the surface when sick or dying. Their dorsal fin starts above their eyes and runs the entire length of the fish. Researchers in New Zealand claim the fish gave off electric shocks when touched. But as you see in these pictures, it's not shocking anyone. It has no scales, and like other members of its order, it has a small but highly protrusible mouth with no visible teeth. Not much is known about their behavior, with very little information coming in from accidental contact with the fish, whether on dives or caught while fishing. They are apparently a solitary animal and may live in depths up to 3,300 feet. Their diet primarily consists of zooplankton, shrimp, and crustaceans, which they selectively strain from the water. They have been known to dine on jellyfish and squid, too. They have been recorded as spawning off Mexico from July to December, releasing brightly colored bouillon eggs, which hatch about three weeks later, releasing highly active larvae that feed on other zooplankton. While interesting, controversial, and mysterious, they aren't in danger of being eaten by humans because of the gelatinous consistency of their flesh. I guess they're sort of the gummy fish of the ocean. I'm not sure what to think here. Your fish is an awesome animal, but unless this is some type of mutated hybrid, I don't think this is a picture of an oarfish. So I turn to you guys. Let me know what you think. <laughs>